Early. Oh, man, this is a good start on the day. I hope you called your people. I hope you got them up. Wow, good job. Glad to have you guys aboard. Glad to have everybody on the call. It is a Wednesday morning, and I know it feels like a Tuesday. Don't let that worry you in the slightest. Hang on, I forgot to mute it. There it went. Now you can talk all you want. You can rattle around. Char, you can take another bath if you want. Hope everybody's got it rocking and rolling. It's the beginning of the month. It's the beginning of June. This is the time to light your business up and get it moving. And I don't care how you do it. You can do Dr. Wallach seminars. You can do advertising. You can do infomercials. You can do whatever your little heart desires. But do something. And get your team out there doing something. Because I'll tell you one thing right now. All you're looking for is velocity and momentum. Perspiration and inspiration. Every one of you guys have that in you. All you need to do is decide. I got off the phone with Char the other night and she said, I am going to interview Marge. I'm going to interview my team. I am going to be on top of Susie McCoy. I'm going to be talking on top of Larry and Becky Sane. We're going to do this the same way. What we've been doing was great, but creating a foundation and creating velocity in longevity is the answer. And we've got that right now, you guys. We're having a huge training in Colorado this Saturday. It's on Saturday morning. Are you doing re uh, monthly trainings in your neck of the woods? Are you doing that? You have to think about that because I'll tell you one thing right now. Once this thing starts getting built, you do this. You do one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversations. You interview people. Then you go find somebody like a Greg Arnold, and you do a two-on-one, -on -one and you present the opportunity to them. And then you take those people to a weekly meeting. Then you take them to a monthly training. Then you take them to a regional event like they're having in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and around the country. And you do that over and over and over again. And you're building toward events just like in that Bob Chris book. GoBobChris.com. If you go get those two books, you're going to see the method to the madness. You'll see why you are going to have an infrastructure in your business that is going to be unbelievable. But it starts with you. You've got to become duplicatable. I want to ask you today, Is are you duplicatable? And I promise you the answer is yes. But is it duplicatable in a way that you want? Are you duplicating the way that you want? Is your team getting to work every morning? Are you on top of it? God bless Lisa Barney. I talked to her last night. She'd already left a message for Char. She'd already left a message for her top line. She's already t left a message for the McCoys. Earlene Downey doing exactly the same thing. This is how you do it. You build that teamwork. I'm seeing so much happening, and I'm seeing so much coming together because of the glue that's getting built out there. And each and every one of you can do that, but it takes commitment. Commitment separates the doers from the dreamers. I always say that to the boxer. It's getting off the mat one more time than you got knocked down. How many times did you get knocked down yesterday? A couple times, Dan Sutherland. I'll tell you. You walked in over the weekend and you said, okay, all right, here's how many interviews I did, and here's how many I'm going to do today. It's a muscle you develop every day because that's commitment to the marathoner. It's running another 10 miles when you don't have it left in you. I don't want to do that interview. I worked on my lawn all day long. I don't want to do that interview. It was a holiday. I don't want to do that interview. I'm not telling you to present the longevity opportunity. I'm telling you just to interview people. Get to the point where you can get to the point. That's all it is. And if you can remember to do that, every day you're going to develop that muscle, and all of a sudden you're going to be starting to get selective about who your four leaders are going to be. To the soldier that's going over the hill, not knowing what's on the other side. How many times do you do that? A lady called me last night from ACN to cuss me out. She says, I heard that you said ACN, and I said, I didn't say any of that, ma'am. But now that we're talking, let's talk about you a little bit. She told me she was in the mortgage business. She's only been in ACN for two years. It was the first company she's ever been in. She thinks it's the greatest comp plan in the world. I said, how do you know? She said, I don't. I've only been in one company. I love the products. They're the best products in the world. I said, how do you know? She says, I don't. I've only been, this is my first company. The point is, if I hadn't, if I had just listened to her cuss me out and hung up, it would have been over. If I would have listened to her presentation, it would have been over. I didn't let her present to me. I interviewed her. Why? Because she's going to fall out of love with that deal here in a month or two. And she's going to say, you know, that guy that I talked to up in Colorado was a nice guy. I think I'm going to call him on the phone. I think I'm going to see what he's up to. 
She's never been in more in love with a company than she is right now, so she's not a prospect today. So I would have blown it if I would have tried to do anything other than interview her. But it worked like a charm, and that's what I'm telling each of you to do. Do exactly the same thing. To the leader, it's all of that on you, Greg Arnold. Everybody you lead is dependent on you, Earlene Downey. Everybody you lead is depending on you, whoever you are out there. When you take on that responsibility and understand that they are watching you and that you've got to be on this call in the morning, you've got to be at the weekly meeting, you've got to be at the monthly training, you've got to be the leader because everybody's watching you. You brought your four people into this business. You told them you were going to jump in the fire. You told them you were going to be there every inch of the way. How's that working for you? Is that commitment there? Is that what you're doing? Is that what's happening? Look how you spend your time. Are you, or are you just saying you are? In other words, are you faking it? Or are you faking it till you're making it? Because I'll tell you, if you're just faking it, people are going to figure it out. Know what's worth dying for out there. Practice the Edison method. Make your plans public then you might be more committed to follow through. I told Steve Wallach that by the end of this year, we're going to be triple diamonds. By 12, 12, by 10, 10 of 010, lots of things are going to happen here. Our income's going to double because 60 pounds are going to be off my body. What happened there? We're practicing the Edison method. We made our plans. I made my plans public, and that way I know I'm accountable. So I want you guys to do that. Have that eye of the tiger. Have that belief deep down inside yourself because it's going to go across to other people. I dare any one of you guys to say to me, Tom, you're not going to make it because I don't believe you. I don't believe you and I don't believe you don't think I'm going to make it. I don't believe that. I believe, and I don't even know if that sentence made sense. I believe that my goals are achievable and attainable. I believe that you can see my goals being achievable and attainable, and I believe that your goals can be the same thing if you put them out there for people. How can you have charisma? Be more concerned about making others feel good about themselves than you are making them feel good about you. In these meetings that you have, these weekly meetings, make those meetings about your audience, not about you. Make them about the people out there looking in your eyes. Read their eyes. Read the prospect's eyes. When it comes to charisma, the bottom line is other-mindedness. Leaders who think about others and their concerns before they're thinking of themselves exhibit charisma. I am telling you, I come back to leadership, commitment, and charisma almost every day. Why do I do that? Because it's the most important part. You've got to lead. You've got to be committed and you've got to do it instead of telling them to do it. If you can get there from here, two interviews. Do you think I like interviewing two new people a day? No, but I have to. I know it. And I don't look at everybody as a prospect. I want to talk about that a little bit because sometimes people go, I just don't like network marketing because everybody is a prospect. That's not the truth. That's not the truth at all. If you look at the greatness of this industry, and if you take a look at the greatness of being a human being, and your job is to be interested in people and see what you can do to serve them, they don't become a prospect. They don't become a prospect and they, until they make the cut. You're probably not even, with most of the people that you're going to interview, you're probably not even interested in having them be in your business. They might want to buy some Beyond Tangy Tangerine or some mineral makeup, but they certainly, after you interview them, they aren't going to be the ones that you decided to partner up with, jump in the foxhole with, and go down the road. But the cool news is, is you've made a contribution to them, and you've got control of the conversation. Those people are literally jumping in the boat. I'm looking at an email from somebody that said, I interviewed a couple days ago, and they told me that their passion was fishing. They love to go fishing, and they want to buy their house for their five kids. And I sent them an email last night about a week later, and I just talked about them going fishing. I talked about their five kids. I talked about their life, and I talked about what was in it for them. I didn't tell them to join me. I just told them somebody was thinking about them that actually cared about their dreams and their goals other than them. That's all you want to be. Be interested, not interesting. I love each and every one of you. Let's have the most unbelievable day ever. Let's go take it to the top. Throw that hat in the ring and let's go get it. I love you guys. I'm bringing you back right now. It's been a great morning. Keep smiling.